All right, guys, we are back once again with Indie Showcase Saturday, powered by The Shed on Mixer, Twitch, and DLive. And this is the second substitute game today. So as I said before, uh, earlier on in the stream, is I had two games on the Xbox that we were going to play today, but my capture device has decided to be a bit of a dick, so we're subbing in one of the other games I had, which is on PC. This is one I've had access to for a little bit now. It is called Starcom Nexus, and this looks, frankly, right up my alley. It is a top down um, space RPG where you can fight, where you can trade, where you can explore and do all of these other things. I love games like this, uh, you know, games like Space Pirates and Zombies, Star Control, obviously, a um, lot of other titles like that. This really looks interesting to me. So this has been out, as you can see here, since the 12th of December, 2018. It has pretty good reviews so far. It's actually in early access still. Uh, PC Windows only at the moment. Uh, and it looks pretty early access based on these version numbers, but clearly has been getting updated on the regular, uh, which is cool. So uh, it looks like it has it has some pretty interesting potential. So the early access version is seventeen dollars US, which is nineteen fifty Canadian on here. So looks pretty reasonable. If this could have a lot of different stuff in it, it looks like it could be quite reasonable. And there's research and all like this looks really right up my alley. So uh, I'm very interested in this one. So yeah, Starcom Nexus, we're going to give this a shot for our second last game today. Um, let's see what we got here. This is by WX3 Labs, which is another relatively small developer. Um, I'm not sure if it's one guy or not, but it is a relatively small team. Um, uh, he's had save change issues. 2560 by 1440 at 144 hertz. I like that you support that. Um, additional options not yet implemented. Doki is definitely early access, but that's okay. Early access done right is not necessarily a bad thing. This was another. Uh, oh wow! Look at all the. So this is mostly one guy. Almost everything in here are testers. Interesting. Okay. And we'll call our ship the Paratroopa. Go. His big galaxy. Mission is to deliver the cargo in the hold. Wait, oh, is this my ship? Oh, wow. His tiny ship. Yes. His little piddling vessel. Oh, shit. Hello? Uh, very station, huh? <laughs> Another pocket hail. Your fr if you're having trouble finding the station, your first officer knows where it is? How do I talk to my first officer? Yes, sir. I always talk to officer. Oh, wow, you can play this with a controller. That's kind of interesting. His mini ship of great power. I do drift like initial D in space. Running in 90s. So, my first officer should know where it is, he said.
Yes, that is how you win. So, where do I... Auto thrust. So, I'm not sure where... Yeah, this is the mission log. Oh, kite station is marked on your HUD. It's the flashing icon in the lower left of the screen. I, what are you talking about? What flashing icon? Wait, is that the whole galaxy? It's small galaxy so far. Oh, there it is. I see it. Small asteroid field ahead. We can easily steer around it, but this might be a good time for some target practice. Oh, look! He's little pea shooter. He's nice girly gun, huh? Yeah, boy. Pew pew indeed. Yes, take that, Space Rocks. Oh! Oh, you can mine from these! Solar Flare. giant glowing rift what uh 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 his problem uh so this is called starcom nexus uh styles we just started it it's in early access right now I was saying that you might be interested in this because it reminds me a little bit of uh, Space Rangers. So our ship is broken and we got sent into some weird thing. Yeah, I believe it's uh, 17 bucks US, 20 bucks Canadian. It's in early access right now, but it, uh, it's one of these big open world top-down games or open space top-down games where you can kind of go and do all kinds of different things. Either it's broken or we're a long way from home. Uh, oh my. Wait, is this the galaxy? Oh my. Uh, yes, is, uh, is long way from home. So it would seem... It, well, it's not Russian. I've just been playing a lot of Metro Exodus lately and playing my fake... I've been doing my fake Russian a lot, so... Does incredible mean not credible? Well, okay, no. Space Rangers is hell of Russian. You're right. That game is uh, that game is Mother Russia. This not so much. This guy is uh, this is made by largely one uh, one person. Uh oh, are we getting shot at, sir? You're not verifying anything. You're shooting at me. Sir. Sir. I'm going to need you to calm down. Sir. Sir. I did not wish to shoot you, sir.
All right, fine. If you wish to have a battle of pea shooters, then I will out P you. Wait, what? Yeah! Blew you up and took your gold. I don't think you do deactivate weapons. I think that's the whole idea. Is it makes you shoot at him. Class R planet? What even is a class R planet? R for rad? Is it radical planet? Wait, kite station? Hold up! What? Isn't Kite Station, like, friggin' where I was supposed to go when it's, like, up here now? Did Kite Station get yanked down with us? It would be interesting if it was a choice to make. Like, y you know what? Let me see, because maybe I could've. No, it doesn't look like there's an option. Also, this does have controller support styles. This could potentially be like a couch thing, too. Yeah, Kite Station was decidedly not this close by before. But did they get pulled down here, too? Station is in emergency power consumption state. All personal savings service usage is limited to one kilowatt hour per day. All personnel to battle stations, this is not a drill. play that again. I never finished Rebel Galaxy. <laughs> good game. Real good game. This looks interesting, especially just because it's the, uh, you know, it's a it's a top-down thing, kind of almost space pirates and zombies-ish to a certain degree. I thought Rebel Galaxy was like 30 hours or something. I heard it was like really long. We've only got one starship, yours, and it's terrible. Gee, thanks. Survey planets in the system and collect resources. Oh, this is really trying to be star control-ish. Which trips up my brain in good ways. I'd suggest a light surveyor, since I will be doing that type of thing. Okay. Three planets on our scanners that could be candidates, okay. Oof, this is not a nimble ship, however. It turns like Riley does. Which is to say, not elegantly. I wanted to check as well, the sound in this game seems a little quiet, but it doesn't seem to have any audio adjustment options right now. This is early access as well. Um, so, this game is definitely... Uh, this game is definitely... Uh, got a lot left. Neat! And I just sent a probe down to survey it? Cool!
Now, like star control, do I have to land to pick stuff up or do I just survey it? Whoa, look! Where the hell did you people come from? Also, your ship is self-healing and doesn't need repairs, which I have to admit I do find a little strange. Oh, oh, crew members. Okay, yeah, you know what? This game is trying not even a little bit to hide the fact that it's trying to be like Star Control. Hey, I Batman, how are ya? Welcome, welcome. Welcome to Indie Showcase Saturday. We're just checking out a few different indie games today. This is Starcom Nexus that we're currently uh, we're currently trying. So yeah, this game. I mean, it's game. It's called Star um, Starcom as well. This is a game clearly inspired by Star Control in that your main vector uh, or your main vector of life in this game is uh, is crew members. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm good, man. Uh, I haven't had a chance to play, uh, to do Indie Showcase for a little while now, and I'm, uh, very happy to be back at it. Uh, I wasn't, didn't have the time the last couple of weeks, and, uh, I've been missing it. I love doing this. Hmm. So yeah, there's ship customization uh, in this, there's research, there's mining. So unfortunately it doesn't have the mechanic that Star Control has where you actually land on the planet and go around picking stuff up. It looks like all you really do is survey places, which is kind of a bummer. But, um, you know, a lot of people didn't like the landing on planets and collecting resources element of Star Control. A lot of people found that boring. I quite liked it myself. But um, it looks like your principal thing that you do in this is just survey, and then you get the, the stuff from that. It looks like there's only three things here it wants me to survey, but we'll see. I'm assuming I could just survey whatever I wanted. Source of the anomaly signal is an overgrown abandoned research lab. Intact AI core. So this is where it gets a little bit space rangery, where you have uh, choices you have to make to do things. Eyes locked, stop any key return. So we just got a whole bunch of crap out of it. So yeah, there doesn't seem to be a ton in terms of actual, like, planetary exploration. You just survey it and then you get stuff. So, but this is a smaller game for sure, so I can appreciate that too. Okay, here's a big boy. You should really play Star Control Origins, I Batman, if you haven't. Uh, Star Control Origins is a... Um, uh, fantastic for that. That is one of my favorite games of last year. Fantastic uh, title that does a lot of that. Um, no Man's Sky definitely provides a lot of that too. Uh, and No Man's Sky, man, that game has come a long way. Like, I was very much one of the people who couldn't give a crap about it when it launched, but it is, it is, uh, it has come a long way. Um, yeah, Star Control Origins came out last year, um, would definitely give it a look. It is, uh, it is a very, very good time if you're into this kind of stuff. Oh, our research lab is up and running. You are one creepy, evil-looking research guy. You look like the guy who was running that corporation in Spinnertality that I played before.
The tissue on the right side of my face has been worn away by a litany of inane questions. Ouch! That's, uh... That guy don't, don't mess. Dr. Pillman, you're a pill, all right. The Commodore has decided that you, a ship's commander with no science background, should choose the direction of our research because you are, quote, in the field, as she put it. Wow. This is like comic book guy levels of sarcasm. Sarcasm detector. That's a real useful invention. Unlike the shipyard, once we research the technology, these points are locked in. We can't unresearch something, so choose carefully. Yeah, I Batman, that would be really cool. The ability to have, yeah, planets with actual civilizations you could interact with. That would be really neat. Turbo thrusters. But I only have two doctorates, so you may know better. Wow, this guy's kind of a dick. Turbo thrusters. I officially promote you to research grad students. Sorry to interrupt the science, sir. That guy is really a dick. And of course, I'm just five away from being able to research anything else. So there's multiple anomalies and such, it looks like, in this game. So it looks like you end up zipping around to numerous alternative galaxies. So this is this could be interesting. Turbo thrusters! It's the equivalent of rolling coal, but in space. Whoa! OBKB? Achievement unlocked, a hole in our universe. Hello? Hello. I here to take surveys? Your words are meaningless, flee or be destroyed. I mean, I don't know about you, but it kind of looks to me like you're the one who's fleeing. I'm just saying. You know, I mean, you said I'd be destroyed, so I guess I just have to shoot you in the face. So it looks like you also don't even get resources from planets, it's just you find, like, um, you just get stuff from it if there's anomalies, I guess. Cannot start survey with hostiles near. Hostiles like what? Oh, like him. Wait, I was going to say, why is my gun not shooting in the direction I'm pointing? Okay, it's still not. Why is my gun not shooting in the direction that I'm pointing? My gun is shooting... Oh, right, because I'm not aiming it properly. Oh, okay, see, my original ship, I didn't have to actually aim the gun. It just sort of fired straight. I guess this one, you can actually change its shooting direction based on... Uh, well, the, the, the gun, when the game started... Oh, and that's why I'm having trouble shooting, because my turbo thrusters need energy. When I was... when I, Early in the game, I it, the gun only shot forward, so you couldn't actually aim it. Here, I actually can. Want to take a survey? I like these images. Well, 
we lost a couple of crew, but we got a whole bunch of stuff, so. You can always get spare crew. Humans are easily, uh, humans are easily replicated. Ninety research points, eh? He's big star, yes. Oi. Okay, so these guys will just never be satisfied, it appears. Oof. Yeah, we, yo, Starcom, don't play, son. Whoops, that's another way out of here. That's actually not what I wanted to do. Ducky? He's not done with the survey yet. I wish to survey more. May I survey more, please? He's nothing. Ninety research points, okay. But to spend said research points, I have to go back to the station, yes? Also to get more spare humanity. So, so far I'm quite intrigued by this. The planetary scanning mechanic is a little meh. <laughs> you must restock redshirt. Well, that was one of the things I loved about Star Control, because Star Control measures uh, life in the same way, like with crew. And I remember when you could get more uh, crew, when you could add more crew banks in Star Control Origins, it would say, like, you know, uh, you always need more crew in case of emergencies. Here's where you keep spares. <laughs> I always like that. So... I'm pretty intrigued by this so far. The story seems interesting. Uh, I love the this old school sort of top-down experience game where it's about you know combat and but there's you're running missions, you're doing trading, you're interacting with different alien races and such. It's very clear this has a lot of Star Control inspiration in it. Not a bad thing at all. I like more games like that. The only thing I will say is a bit of a bummer is I do wish there was more to the planetary exploration mechanic. Like, just flying over a planet and hitting a button? Uh, that's not super compelling. I wish there was a little bit more to it than that. But other than that, I mean, the presentation, you know, it's, it's a top-down game, so it's not crazy highly detailed, but it looks pretty cool, nonetheless. The soundtrack seems really good. There's basically no voice acting, best as I can tell. Um, but the music is quite good. And I really love these images from this thing. Wow, we just got a redonkulous amount of resources for that. That's handy.
Free research. So this definitely seems to be a lot of like, you know, fly around and, you know, check things off a list kind of game, which is very much what Star Control was too, and I don't necessarily mind that. And that's that survey with hostels near. This guy isn't really what I'd call near. A bit of a ways off. Oh god, is large ship. Oh, he's big ship. He's go big boom, yeah? He's also really bad at hitting me. I'm kind of wrecking his face. He's not quality station. And I got nothing from it, really? Okay, this guy looks like he means more business. <laughs> Our hail was ignored. Wow, they won't even insult me now, eh? Okay, really, are, are you not done yet? Okay. My ship, she is, uh, she is a touch on fire right now. Methinks we may need to, uh, make a trip back to the station soon. I'm thinking. Survey says storm clouds. Right. <laughs> Riley. Wow. Got a truckload of ore from that place. All right, well, let's uh, let's get back to the station here. Use our auto thrust. Uh, get back to the, the station and see what's going on. I'm pretty compelled by this so far. I This is another game that you could easily play while doing something else as well. Like, and don't get me wrong, like, sometimes people think I say that in a pejorative way. Like, oh, this is a good game to play when, you know, you're doing something else, as is to imply it's not really good enough to demand your full attention. That's not at all what I mean. I think games that you can, that you can play while doing something else, like watching TV or chatting with somebody or whatever, are a good thing. Um... You know, I think games that, that allow you to, to enjoy yourself without having to constantly, like, dig in with your full and complete attention at all times uh, can be a nice thing. Because some games you just don't want to have to concentrate that hard, you know? Some games you just want to have a nice break and, you know, and just sort of enjoy yourself. And this feels like one that would very much do that. Um... I'd like to play more of this for sure and see where it evolves, at least in its current state. Uh, I, I think I might go take a look at the devs page. Maybe we'll do that before we finish up here. I'd like to go take a look at the devs page and see what his future plans are for content. Like, is he going to add things that allow you to actually do stuff on planets? Or, you know, is the story actually complete in this version? Or can you only play to a certain point and that's where it just kind of stops right now? Or is there, you know, is there more to it uh, than what we have right now? Uh, that, that's coming later. I would uh, definitely would like to know that. Um, okay, time to load up on uh, on people. Station morale is down a bit. Wow, that guy's a dick. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> Rumor has it he's been that way since the incident. What incident? Being born. Well, we got tons of money here. Improved Turbonium. I wish to get more Turbonium. There is clearly a big tech tree here because check this out. He's much technology. Oh wow, there's some stuff here actually already. High energy bolts. Ooh. Like that. He's a high energy bolt, huh? And you, and you can custom design, you can also custom design your own ships that you can save out to your own um, designs. So yeah, you could actually customize your own ships too if you wanted to. Also looks like there's, uh, there is stuff over here I didn't get to. I like the fact too that the map very clearly lists out like, hey, you go into this, this, this thing, here's where it's going to take you sort of lists it all out and actually there is another one down there that i missed so let's go check out this one more system and then i think we'll go um we'll switch up to the last game but so far i'm really liking this um this is a game very much in the vein of a star control or something like that uh it's very much about exploration it's about scanning things it's about meticulously going through every system to find what you're looking for though there clearly is uh combat and some other things like that in it um I would say that if you want some real high action and maybe deep strategy, this might turn into that later on, but it's probably not what you're you're going to get out of it right now. Um, there might be more to it later uh, that gets into that vein, but I am finding this pretty interesting so far. Again, as someone who really likes Star Control, this is pretty much straight up my alley. Um, so uh, I'm like, I'm very curious to see what the dev's future plan is and where he sees this game evolving to. Um, because there, there's clearly a lot more to it uh, that we haven't necessarily uh, seen yet. But uh, this is this is definitely pretty neat. You said you're hostile, so screw you. I'm taking your crap. And all your titanium. Wrecking all your shiz. Oh, this isn't taking me where I thought it would. Survey right in here, but get 50 research points. Whoa, what the hell is that? Okay. That is just creepy. Something like that should not just be floating around in space. Apparently it doesn't care about me, though. That creeps me out more than a little bit. And apparently I can't scan it? I guess? So 
I just picked up some aliens who need a ride home. But I don't believe it's actually said where they are. Oh, hi. Oh, this, these are the guys. Well, that was quick. Apparently, we just made friends, so okay. They definitely don't look friendly, but they quite are. They established a forward base near 12.7 by minus 6.8. Interesting, so they'll give you coordinates for things you can go and investigate. Interesting. Okay. Ooh, lots of anomalies here. Whoa! Lots of free stuff. Hello? Hello? More survey? He's more survey. Yes? Run? Why are you running? Why are you running if you ain't done nothing? Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, you're a bigger ship. But I still wreck your face with my puny pea shooter laser. No, 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 no. Don't you run from me. You got stuff and I want it. cool. Yes, I'm already using the auto thrust, but thank you. Thank you very much.
So yeah, if you want an idea, remember where the guy said before, uh, uh, we think they've established a forward base at this by this. So I'm using the turbo thrusters. Look how little that stuff is incrementing. If you want an idea how freaking massive this galaxy is, um, there's an explanation for you. Crap, I didn't mean to come through here yet. Yeah, if you want an idea of how friggin' massive this place is. There is clearly a lot to see in this galaxy. And I have to say, that's pretty impressive considering how small the team is that made this game. So we're going to, I'm going to clean up the rest of this system, guys. And then after that, I think we're going to call this one. Um, very intrigued by this. Uh, again, this is a game I think I would probably play with something else on. Um, again, not said as a bad thing. Um, I just think that's what I'd end up doing with it. Um... I, I think what we'll do before we stop is we will take a quick look and see what the devs' um, plan is for this. Uh, in terms of, like, if, if they plan to expand it out more or if this is just really... Like, what I'd like to know at this point is, is the story complete? Like, could you play this game from beginning to end right now? Or is there a lot more to come um, that we haven't seen yet? Because I'd probably want to wait until this game was done before I uh, really invested a lot of time in it. But I'm very intrigued with what they've offered so far. Uh, without a doubt. Oh man, you guys don't give up, do you? Hey, don't steal that. That's mine. Friggin' stole the cargo I was gonna steal, you dick. The only thing I'm wondering is, is if there eventually becomes a faster way to travel around. Because, like, at this point, if I want to restock on crew, I have to jump, like, five systems. Which, like, that will already very quickly become kind of a headache. If you have to jump all those, what you know, all that often just to go back and restock. I mean, you kind of do have to do that in Star Control, but in Star Control, at least in Origins, there's very um, quick ways around, right? Uh, like easy ways to sort of leap around different areas and things like that. So that would definitely be uh, a bit of a thing. But yeah. Uh, so far, really like what they've got going here. Um, there could be, you know, I'd like to see if, if there gets to be more to it. I would hope there would be. Uh, but I am, uh, I am pretty impressed with what I've seen so far, definitely. Okay, so there is game volume options, just only back in the main menu. That's kind of a pain. But, uh... Yeah, guys, that is Starcom Nexus. Uh, that is developed by WX3 Labs. Uh, it is on the PC right now for uh, $17 US or $20 Canadian. Um, very interested so far. I want to see what this is going to say about... Um... Okay, so here. 100 plus technologies to research. 40 plus star systems. Design your own ship. Trade, talk, and fight. Hidden secrets and side quests. Uh, so let's see what he says about early access. Currently, Starcom Nexus is fully playable with a high level of polish. Uh, players of our closed beta test have been both enthusiastic and extremely helpful in refining the gameplay. Now we're looking for feedback. Uh, 
current early access version has about six to nine hours of gameplay on the main story depending on playstyle and will get substantially more. Please note that version updates and early access may not be compatible with previous saves. We will announce save breaking updates well in advance and allow players to continue previous saves with earlier build versions. So this might be one you might want to wait on its release. So they say approximately how long will the game be in early access? Minimally five to six months, possibly up to 12. So it could be until late this year before it comes out. Um, but basically they're saying there will be more content uh, when it comes out. Voice acting for all major characters, cool. Mod support, um, And the, okay, and the game will be priced about 30% lower during early access because of the incomplete story. So there's the answer, guys. Uh, if you want to play this in full and possibly not have to start it over, then you might want to wait for launch uh, for this. Um, but I like this so far. I will probably play this and finish it when it comes out. I think it's pretty neat. So yeah, that's Starcom Nexus on the PC right now. So thanks for hanging out. If you are watching this on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe, etc. It does help things get noticed by more and more people. And if you are on the streams, we have one game left. It's one that's been out for a while and that I have to know. So we're going to check that out to end this off, guys. So thank you for hanging out, but don't go anywhere. We got one more game. Indie Showcase Saturday, powered by The Shed, comes back in just a moment. Stick around, guys.